My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So today is Easter Sunday, so let me show you what I made. I made some cornbread dressing. I also made some collard greens with smoked ham hocks. I roasted a chicken and I made some baked macaroni and cheese. So this is my plate and this is Howard's plate. He does not eat dressing. So we are having the same thing, of course. He just doesn't have any dressing on his plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are having a quick dinner tonight in my freezer. I had a pot roast that I made, I guess a few months ago. We didn't eat it all and I froze it. And the pot roast has mushrooms, it has potatoes in there as well. And so I just made some rice to go with it. And then we had some collard greens left over from Easter. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight and I am going to use up some odds and ends that I had in my freezer and um, refrigerator. So let me show you what I'm going to need. I'm making um, lasagna ravioli and I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. So in my fridge I have or had this bottle of Classico tomato sauce. As you can see I used a little bit of it. I used it for another recipe and I just stuck it in the fridge and I need to use it up. I had a bag of cheese ravioli in the freezer and then um, the recipe calls for shredded mozzarella. I have two packages of the mozzarella slices, so I'm using that. And then this recipe also calls for a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese. And like I said, all of my um, cheeses were in the freezer. Also in the freezer, I have um, this pork sausage that I cooked up and froze a while back ago. The recipe does not call for any meat at all, but I did wanna add some meat. So what I'm gonna do is mix up the pasta sauce and the pork, and um, then we'll get started. Okay, as you can see, I've got my meat mixture all combined. I didn't add any additional seasoning to this meat mixture. I just added the sausage and the um, spaghetti, the pasta sauce together. If you wanted to add additional salt or whatever you'd like, definitely go for it. But in my pan here, I have a little bit of just the plain pasta sauce. This is a nine by 13 pan, and I am just going to layer half of this ravioli in the bottom of the pan. Okay, I've got my first layer of pasta down. And if I didn't mention it, you're supposed to keep the ravioli frozen. And now I'm just gonna add on a layer of meat sauce followed by a layer of mozzarella. And then I'm just gonna repeat those layers. All right, so here is the ravioli lasagna, getting ready to pop it in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and you're supposed to bake it for 30 minutes covered and then about 15 minutes uncovered. I will tell you that I did not have enough meat sauce to go around, so I had to add um, a can of um, slightly drained diced tomatoes to uh, the last portion of my meat mixture, and then I added it on top and then that cheese you see on top is just a little bit of Parmesan cheese that I had uh, frozen. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, so here's our dinner. I did end up baking this longer than the instruction said. I ended up baking it for about an hour. Um, it is pretty juicy and I don't know if it's because of the diced tomatoes that I had to add in the end, but I did let this sit for about 15 minutes before I cut it and there's still a lot of liquid in the pan. Um, I am serving this with a side salad and some garlic bread. The garlic bread is from Walmart. It's great value brand. I've already thrown away the box to make room in my freezer. And then this is the salad dressing that we're gonna use. Howard is gonna use a Thousand Island. And then I'm gonna use the Kins Light Caesar. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is Japanese style shrimp. 
So in my skillet, I have one pound of um, shrimp and I just lightly sauteed it for about a minute and a half on each side. To that, I just added some butter, unsalted, and I'm also getting ready to add some garlic. Of course, I'll leave the recipe in the description box for you all. So I added some garlic. Now I'm adding some low sodium soy sauce. I'm using Kikkoman. And I'm going to add some teriyaki sauce. This is also Kikkoman. And the recipe calls for lemon juice, but Howard does not like lemon juice on savory food, so I'm not gonna add it. And the recipe also calls for black pepper. He doesn't really care for black pepper, so I'm going to be using this white pepper instead. Just gonna sprinkle it on and give it a good stir. And then it says to let your um, shrimp simmer on high heat and let that glaze uh, kind of get sticky and, and a little bit thick. Okay, so here's our dinner. Here's the shrimp, Howard and I tried it. Howard likes it, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it tastes really salty, um, but he likes it. So we've got the shrimp and I made a side of Korean style fried rice to go with it and then also some stir fried green beans. So. Uh, these are the green beans that I use from Kroger. I picked these up for the first time. It's been a little while ago. However, I thought they were the long skinny green beans. My fault for not reading it well, French style. So as you can see, they are cut just like French style green beans. And then as far as the rice, this is the rice that I used. I really like this brand. Um, you can make it in the microwave or on the stove and I made mine on the stove and it is really good. And then here is the shrimp that I used from Aldi. Um, tried it for the first time today and it's very fishy, very strong um, shrimpy, fishy taste to it. I probably would not buy it again, but it was completely deveined, um, which was really nice. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So Howard and I are trying out a new Filipino restaurant for lunch and it is a roadside spot. Let me try to show it to you. So this is what it looks like outdoor eating. So Howard got the roasted pig, they whole roasted the pig, and then I got some pork skewers and then we got some pancit um, as well. Here's Harrison. He's very tired, aren't you? And cranky. Anyway, this is what we're having for lunch. Probably won't have any dinner, as you can see. We have a lot of food here. So um, we will see you guys next time.